Fast Start Test Complete Module 2, creating our first tests. So in this module we're going to look at creating our first set of tests. We're going to work from end-to-end -end, creating a project suite and then a project within the project suite. We'll then add our tested application which will be count plus. We'll look at the application with the object browser to see what kind of objects properties and methods it has. Then we'll create some automated tests using record and manually build some tests using the operations panel. We'll review the test steps we've created as part of those tests, pull it all together in a project, execute the project and then review the test results. So step one in this process then, once we've already opened test complete, is to create the project suite. Two buttons up here create project suite, create project, start with a project suite, keep the default name and then each project suite can contain one or more projects. So once the project suite has been created if we click on the create or add new project button we'll get the test complete wizard for creating a new project, give the project a name, test calc plus app, step through the wizard selecting the type of project so we're going to go with a generic Windows application. We can add the application or we'll make a reference to the application here but what we'll do is leave that and add it in a minute. I want to make sure that we record the user actions only over the tested application. Click on next. Test Complete has a visualizer capability to record screen captures during the test record and then capture those same screenshots in the playback so you can do comparisons. We'll keep the defaults and then we can select a scripting language which is not really relevant when we're creating keyword tests but we'll come on to that later. So we have a project suite and within that project suite we have one project at the moment. This project is going to be focused around an application called Calc Plus which we're testing. And What we need to do next is tell Test Complete that this is the application under test. And to do that we can add Calc Plus to our list of tested apps. Quickest way to do that, look in the object browser which is Test Complete's view of our system and all the applications running. And if we right click on the Count Plus process here, you'll see we've got an option Add Process to Tested Apps. So are we sure we want to add this to our list of tested applications? Yes. And then when we come back to our project workspace, we'll see under Tested Apps we now have the Count Plus application. The reason we do this is because applications listed under here are the applications that Test Complete will only record actions against. So we can sort out and filter all of the other applications on our system and only focus on Calc Plus. So as we've seen, we've got a concept of the object browser in Test Complete, and this gives us visibility of everything that's running on our system and enables us to drill down and look at the application we're testing. So if we select our Calc Plus ob object or application, we can drill down, take a look at this and see how that's constructed or how Test Complete sees this application. So we have the process, Calc Plus, we have a window, which is, if we right click and do highlight on screen, it will show us the Calc Plus window. And then within that window, we have all of the buttons and edit windows that make up the Calc Plus application. And again, we could right click on this button, highlight on screen, and we can see the, the C button. The object browser is indispensable to you as you start to build out your tests because it gives us visibility of the objects that we want to test, i.e. processes, windows, buttons, and the properties and the methods that are associated with each of those objects. Properties being sort of aspects of the application or object we're looking at, and methods being the actions that that particular object can carry out. So for example, on the C button, we have a 
click method which allows us to click that particular button within Calc Plus. More on the object browser in future modules. For now, we'll use it just to look, add Calc Plus to our list of tested apps. So at this stage then, we're ready to start creating some automated tests. Test Complete allows you to create automated tests in two ways. One is scripted, i.e. using a scripting language like JScript, Python, VBScript, or to add keyword tests, which is a visual drag and drop icon based approach to building tests. If we look at the T keyword tests and we click on test one, you can see we get a test one workspace pane open. And within here is the area that we will build out one particular test item. This pane is divided into two panels. One is a list of the operations, i.e. the sort of actions or operations we want to carry out in a test. And the other is the list of the test items within the test itself, of which we have none at the moment. But once we start recording and creating tests, we'll see this populated. What we're going to do is create three tests, one to start calc, one to do a calculation, and one to close calc. And then we'll string those together in a series of test steps in within the project itself. So to do that, we want three tests. The first one is start calc. And then we'll add a second test. So we can right click on here and do add new item keyword test. And we'll do stop calc. And then we'll add a third test which in this case is going to be do calc emulation. Do calc. So three test entities, none of which have any test steps yet. We'll add those test steps next. So we're going to start by adding test steps to the do calc test. And the easiest way to do this is to record the test steps. So we can right click on here and do record keyword test. Test complete. We'll minimize. We have our calc application and we can complete a calculation. Five times five equals. And the recording bar that we see, which indicates that we're recording at this point in time, we can then click the stop button and we'll get a list of tests steps added to our do calc test. And we can look at this in more detail. We have the item, which is the object we're interacting with. So in this case, the button five, the multiply key five and equals the operation we carried out and we just carried out the click button and any value that we might have added there. The click button doesn't have a value, but if we were entering text in a text box, then we might have a text string in there. So that's one of the three tests created. The next one we want to do is start calc. We could either record that or we could do manually build uh, the test steps in here and we could use the operations panel. So we've got frequently used test actions and one of the test actions in there is run tested app. So we can drag run tested app in there, get the wizard for the tested app. And the only tested app we have at the moment is calc plus. So we'll add that where you want to run the tested app, which is just one operation in this test. Third test then, stop calc. What we can do here is a, an on-screen action. We can take the on-screen action. And again, we get a wizard come up. We can highlight the object on the screen. So we can highlight calc plus, for example. And then test complete will show us in the next step a list of actions or methods that we can carry out against that particular object or that window. One of the methods is the close method, which closes count plus. Click next and finish. And now we have three tests. We have the start calc, which runs our tested app calculation. We have the do the calculation. And we have stop calc. Save those tests. And we could run those individually. 
So for example, I already have calc plus running. I can test my stop calc by clicking run test. So this will, against the Windows calc plus window, run the operation close. Run the test, test complete minimizes. And what we should see is calc plus stop running. Now you can see calc plus window was closed. Calc plus, if we can just check, we can look at the object browser. And in the object browser, we should see that there's no longer the process calc plus present. So when that refreshes, you'll see that calc plus is no longer listed in there. Next then we can test the start calc test. So if we click on that and we click run test, we should see test complete automatically start calc plus. So the test is running and you'll see that calc plus has been opened by test complete. Finally then, We'll do the test of our do calculation test. And we've already got calc plus running, so all I need to do is click on run test. Test complete minimizes. And you can see test complete clicking on the buttons within calc plus. Five times five equals 25. So at this stage we have three tests, start calc, do a calculation, stop calc, and what we need to do is string those together and run them as part of a project. If we double click on the project entity in the Explorer, we'll see at the moment that there are no test cases listed at the project level, but we can now drag on our test entities. So we can run, drag in start calc, and the test we see there, start calc. We can drag in do calculation, and then we can drag in stop calc. Now, rather than run these individually, we can string these together and run them in sequence. First, let's close down calc plus, and then we can click on run project. Test complete minimizes. And we'll see calc plus open. We'll see the do calculation test executed. And once that's completed, we'll see the test log which shows the individual test items or test cases that were run as part of that project. So we have start calc, we have do calc, and we have stop calc, all of which passed and completed successfully. And the overall test result is shown by test complete as a result of success. So that's nine steps from creating a project suite creating a project within that suite, adding the tested app and reviewing the tested application within the object browser, creating one, two or three individual test cases, checking the test steps and then stringing together as a project, running the project and reviewing the test results.